So it is still making some vacuum. Well, it still has power brakes. Yeah. Just not all the time. Welcome to Texas Bird Adventures. I'm Brad Harrell, your host. And today, we're working on my 95 Ford F-350 4x4 long bed crew cab with the 7 tree. We're replacing the vacuum pump. Got my favorite mechanic, Doug. Say hello, Doug. Hello, Doug. Expect nothing less. So, I know Doug got started before I was able to pull my camera out. And he has taken the belt loose. How did you accomplish that? Where is the tensioner at? Right in here. That one? So you grab, grab the bolt right there. Let's demonstrate for the folks what that looks like. Oh, look at that. Does it feel like it's got good tension on it? The pulley? Why don't you see? Can you put that much pressure on there? I don't want you I to don't know. bust your girdle. Oh yeah, that's nice. That's nice and tight. That's what she said. That's what she said. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, we have our Cardone vacuum pump 641008. Here's the vacuum pump. Did you bring your pulley puller? You know what? I did. So there's a pulley that goes here, right? Mm-hmm. Something like that. Because diesel engines don't naturally generate vacuums. So if you have vacuum assisted power brakes, you need a vacuum pump. I saw you had your handy dandy pliers. What was what was you doing there, Doug? I'm taking off the line, the rubber line that supplies vacuum to the vacuum. And which one's that? Here. No, which line is it? That black one there? Okay. I don't know. I'm kind of blind. So. You're, you, oh, you're you're like me. You don't see color, right? That's right. <laughs> All right, Douglas. So vacuum pump is is uh. Removed from the removed. Room. You got three bolts. Show me the bolts. Well, here's one. This yeah, one that's won't one. come out without with the pulley still on it. Yeah, yeah. I saw that on the on the. The other two are in a location where they can be taken out. Okay. And that thing you put your I saw you put your finger on it and turn the pulley, so it is still making some vacuum. Well, it still has power brakes. Yeah. Just not all the time. Just not all the time. So, so what we're thinking, or at least what I'm thinking, it and leaks from the bearing. Oh, the most common point of leakage. Okay, because what what would happen is is you'd start the truck, let it idle, it would build vacuum, and then it would have brakes for like the first one or two stops, and then after that, it wouldn't have any until it built vacuum back up. It's like the vacuum was depleted and then it took some time to build it back up. Is that what is that your hypothesis hypothesis as well? I believe so. I also believe that this air snorkel is missing. No, it's not, it's just black. Oh, the clamp? You thought that clamp was missing? See, I told you Doug can't see color because he was right. looking at this one and this one. But the clamps are there, they're just black. The most important step is seeing how far the pulley is pushed onto the original device. So it looks like it's about a quarter inch there. Okay. Did you check that with your finger or what did you check it with? My colorblind eyeballs. Uh, this might take a while. Okay. It helps if you have a big spice. All right, so we got the pulley off and then we will put it on our new Cardone unit. And to install it, what's the sequence of events? You gotta make sure that you get that bolt out. Yeah, uh, you want to put the pulley on first and then remember where you 
I, I want to. How many times has that <laughs> happened? Probably more than you no can. No comment. Sh no comment. When you have a super deluxe fuller installer set like this one, yeah, that's older than the kids. I bet it is. Probably double. <laughs> so when you're installing something like a power steering pump, sometimes the pulley's a little hard to get on. So, but you got to keep need to make sure that the shaft of the yeah. pump uh -huh. doesn't turn. Okay. Because if it turns, you put you just that. Just loosen up. Oh, okay. Because the way the threads are cut, left hand, right hand. All right. And so it you... loosens, and it gets to a part where. It's no longer fully seated, snaps off. Break it. But it usually loosens here because if you're smart enough to tighten it up here, you'll put up, yeah, put a set of wrenches it won't on it. Loosen here. Right. So it'll break off here. And then you end up with a completely useless thread adapter. Now that's a one inch, oh, this pulley system here is one inch and 13, right? Yes, or half inch. Or half inch. Don't be lazy. Take it off. Oh, I see. So slip it off, off the big nut. Is it going? I don't know. I've never done this before. I love it when you say stuff like that. So the old one, you can see where the wear mark or where the pulley was on there and it had about that much slack. Quarter inch. I don't know if y'all can see that in there. See that right there? Go ahead and put the light. There's a right there, there's about an eighth, maybe three sixteenths of an inch. Look at that bummer. Do mechanical work. What should we? Ooh, I think I'm getting a little carried away. So zoom back it off. Then you can pull that back and see. That's it. Close. Pretty good, right? Close. You want more? You tell me. I think I think about um one female genital hair closer. Is that the politically correct <laughs> way to say it? I'm not sure. Looks pretty much what, what we want. Dead on right there. Sweet. Where did it go? Do it go like this? Nobody knows. All right, so you got the vacuum pump, bolts tightened up, fixing to put the serpentine belt back on. Yeah, and then after that, we'll do the final thing, hose up the spies, the system. And this is a non-electric vacuum pump. It's belt driven, right? That's so correct. we don't have to worry it's about any, any wires or anything like that. 
this way. Good? Uh-oh, I just heard a pop. Is it supposed to pop like that, Doug? What pop? I, I didn't hear a pop. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes, I heard a pop. I heard a pop from the belt tensioner. I don't know what, it didn't sound good. All right, so that hose just plugs in there. You slide the clip back on and Bob's your uncle, right? No, he's actually your father-in-law. Oh. And for that, I apologize. Thank you. You ready for the moment of truth, Doug? I think I'm ready. Are you? Now remember, you still have leaking wheel cylinders and worn out shoes. Other than that, the brake system is impeccable. Right? It already feels like it has about 20 more horsepower. Breaks like a million bucks, I tell you that much. Yeah, that was it. That was the culprit. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Tech Spirit Adventures. Do me a favor, if you're new to my channel, consider subscribing and hit the notification bell so you know when I post new videos. You ready, Doug? I'm ready. And I'll catch you on the flip side. You dang hillbillies! It has something good for you. It is apple. So you now you get your fruits. Like boy. Ah. Oh, bullshit. <laughs> <laughs>